I'm a nurse and I work the 11 to 7 shift, so it's not a matter of not being able to get out. I have to get out because they depend on me. My name is Gene Foley. Monty Noyes. I live in uh, Herman, Maine. And uh, I work for myself. My name is Jack Brady. I'm a teacher at Belfast Area High School in Belfast, Maine. Uh, and a football coach. Uh, I'm the maintenance supervisor for the Bangor Housing Authority. I live here in Bremen. I work at Bath Line Works building ships. I work for a high-tech company here in the South Portland area. And because of where we live and the plow dropping all the snow in, at the end of my driveway, uh, three and four foot high snow banks are pretty hard to move with a little snow blower. <laughs> I didn't ever want a big heavy duty snow plow because I didn't want to do a lot of damage to my yard. And so I started looking into light duty snow plows and I came across the Homesteader. And I actually had the old snow plow still to compare with this one the first winter at snow at plowing and it seemed to do as good a job as the other one did. You know, I, I, like I say, I've owned four fishes. And I like the fish of I like the name. We bought the uh, Sonoma, the lightweight pickup, so that we could put a plow on it. And we discussed with the dealership what plows would be good. And the uh, homesteader was the one they suggested. All other plows that I had looked at were going to possibly void my manufacturer's warranty. I like doing it because I go up then, put around up in the driveway, and push the snow where I want to push it. And like I say, I don't have to depend on somebody else, and mostly the independence part of it. And I could pay somebody $100 every snowstorm to come plow for me. And I like to have it done in a timely manner. I don't like to rely on somebody else having to come and do it. The thing I like about it is I can pick the time when I want to go out and do it, and I know I'm going to get out of my driveway at night if I have to go to work. So by having my own plow, I do it when I want to do it. If I don't want to do it, I can sit in the house and wait, and then when I want to do it, I'll come out and get it done. And in the long run, the time I get done in this winter we have here, I'd, ha I'd have spent enough money to buy a plow, so why not buy the plow and have it for my own use? It's that easy. I'm a perfectionist. I like things exactly the way that I want them. And when I plow my own driveway, that's, that's how it's done. And it, it just doesn't take that long to do it. Uh, I don't have to wait for other people to plow me out. I'm much happier being able to do it. And nobody plows your driveway like you plow your driveway. <laughs> it's very easy to hook up. I'm not all that mechanically inclined. The first time, it may take you a couple of minutes to put it on. But once you get used to doing it and read the procedure on it, it'll go on pretty slick. And it's probably a two-minute job to unhook it. And probably two or three minutes to hook it back up. I drive into it turn the pins and let them fall into place, wiggle the plow a little bit until they pop into place and pick it up and drive away. For the most part, it's so convenient to take on and off, I usually take it off uh, and then go to work. The plow's so light, I mean, I can stand in front of it and put my knee against the blade and uh, grab the uh, headlight support and just tip it and it'll slide right into place and put the pins in. It's so easy to take off. So I just take it off. If I'm going to go over town, over. I just take it off and set it down. When I want it, I put it back on. And there's just no challenge to learning how to use it at all. Very simple. Left is left and right is right and up is up and down is down. It's that, it's that simple. And it's a toggle switch and it goes up and down and side to side and it's very easy to use. Simple. It's a little toggle switch and push it up to raise it, push it down to drop it. I find that this plow is much faster uh, in terms of reacting um, when I'm going up or down or when I'm angling my blade. It's very fast, it's very responsive. It performs excellent. There's no doubt about it. it can, it's as good as the bigger plows. I like the fact that it has the uh the hydraulic pump is built right into the plow. It's much more efficient. The only other concern I had was the potential for the snow sticking to the blade, and I didn't know if perhaps that might cause problems, but I've had no problems. In fact, it slides off very well. Uh, you can back drag with the plow because it has downforce built into it with the hydraulic ram. Uh, when I hear wood fish a plow, I hear uh, quality, durability. Uh, I like the weight. I like the ease of uh, putting it on and taking it off the truck. The ease of use when I'm plowing, uh, I just couldn't be more happy with them. I have not one 
thing to say bad about that blade. It's as good as metal. Really, no doubt about it. It's, it's a lot less time consuming. It, it took me, even with a little bit of snow, I'd spend probably an hour and a half out here with a snow blower. And with the plow, I can come out and in probably five to ten minutes have the whole yard all cleared up. And I bought it and put it on, and like I say, the first storm was 20 inches. And it handled just like a piece of cake. I went through it like nothing. I think within a month of the winter season, it gave its true test when uh, we had approximately 14 inches of snow. And I came out the next morning and I had to plow right from starting from one end of my driveway to the other. And as long as I kept my plow angled, the snow was just coming right off, rolling out to the sides, and I didn't once see it coming over the top. Well, this past December, we had two snowstorms about a week and a half apart. One was 17 inches and one was 20 inches. And I had no problems at all. I think within, like I say, probably 10 minutes, I was finished with my driveway, which is three times the size of my neighbor's. I have an elderly neighbor who occasionally has had to go to the hospital, where her first call if there's a problem at her house. So if the, yeah, the roadway was full of snow, I could go out and plow it out for her, too. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It takes me about probably about an hour to do the area that I do, and it gets me outdoors, and, and I, I always enjoy being outdoors. I like plowing. I, I, I like going out. It's like a little toy to me. I enjoy it. I'll come out two or three times, and, you know, if it's snowed and I've cleaned it and we get another inch of snow, I'll come out and just run my plow just to have something different to do. I usually do have a cup of coffee, usually listen to Cheap Trick while I'm plowing, and yep. I, I, sometimes I just spend the time thinking. So I was rather pleased when I found the Homesteader, and uh, even more pleased now that I've had it for a while. The brand name, the fisher name, the engineering of it, because they stand behind it. The warranty on it is super. I've had people say to me, that they've heard nothing but good things about the plow. I almost feel somewhat guilty, a little bit, um, somewhat guilty when I'm out there and I'm driving around in my vehicle and my neighbors are out there and there's snow flying back in their face. Truthfully, I would never own anything but a Fisher. I like the price, I like the service, and I like the, you know, Fisher company. I've owned so many Fisher plows that the features are all the same as the big ones. And the commercial plows, it's just, all the features are there. Plowing with a homesteader has allowed me more time with my daughter. It only takes me about 10 minutes to do my driveway. And so then I can go play with her in the snow afterwards and the piles of snow that we've made with the plow. I like the reputation of Fisher. If I bought another plow, it would definitely be a Fisher. 100%. Couldn't change my mind. <laughs> I suspect that I'll have it for the life of my vehicle. It's a great plow. I love it.